हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट थर्ड नमेरिकल ऑन द टॉपिक कैनेटिक्स ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एनर्जी एंड मोमेंटम मेथड्स आई हैव अपलोडेड वन फाइल इन योर अकाउंट द नेम ऑफ द फाइल इज थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू जीरो इन दिस फाइल देर आर थ्री नमेरिकल्स सो आई विल डिस्कस दोज नमेरिकल्स थ्रू द वीडियोज सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट नमेरिकल आई एम टेकिंग फ्रॉम दिस फाइल सो लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन वट इज इज अ ब्लॉक ऑफ वेट टू थाउजेंड न्यूटन रेस्ट ऑन अ हॉरिजेंटल सरफेस म्यू इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट टू एंड पुल्ड बाई अ फोर्स ऑफ एट हंड्रेड न्यूटन एट एन एंगल ऑफ थर्टी डिग्रीज टू द हॉरिजेंटल सो दिस डायग्राम इज गिवन टू अस सो देर इज वन ब्लॉक हुज वेट इज टू थाउजेंड न्यूटन इट इज रेस्टिंग ऑन अ सरफेस वेयर फ्रिक्शन कोफिशेंट इज टू जीरो पॉइंट टू एंड ऑन दिस ब्लॉक देर इज अ फोर्स एट हंड्रेड न्यूटन विट इज विच इज अ पुल टूवर्ड्स राइट acting at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal so what is asking us to find determine the velocity attained by the block as it has moved 20 meters starting from the rest so this is the first part of the problem which we have to find there are few important things to note he says starting from rest it means initially initial stage of the block is rest stage 1 is rest what next we have to find determine the velocity attained by the block after it has moved 20 meters it means distance between stage 1 and stage 2 is 20 meters so let us first find uh, uh, the free body of this particular problem so how to draw the free body we have to represent the block on the surface then on that block we have to show its weight acting in downward direction corresponding to that weight we will show the normal pressure and we will represent this force in the free body then we will find its components because it is acting at some angle to the horizontal then as friction is there we will represent a frictional force also in the direction opposite to the direction of motion so that free body is shown here now you see block is shown on the surface then first force to represent its weight in downward direction its weight is directly given it is in newtons so no need to multiply by 9.81 then corresponding to that we have to place normal pressure then this particular force is labeled in the free body at an angle of 30 degree to horizontal then this particular force is acting at some angle to the horizontal so we need to find its components one component will be along horizontal another component will be along vertical so as we are taking angle of this force with the horizontal component so this will be cos component we are calling it as 800 cos 30 so this will be 800 sin 30 after this we are representing frictional force also as motion is towards right so frictional force will act towards left so in the free body of the block five main forces will be there normal pressure frictional force horizontal component of 800 force vertical component of 800 force then its weight acting in downward direction after drawing the free body we should represent the stages also so this is stage 1 of the uh, uh, block this is stage 2 of the block what about about stage 1 what he says starting from rest so at stage 1 velocity of the block will be zero initial velocity is zero so distance between stage 1 and stage 2 is has moved 20 meters it is 20 meters so at stage 2 the final velocity of the block is represented as v2 which we have to find in the first part of the problem he says find the velocity attained by the block after it has moved 20 meters starting from rest so if you will draw free bodies like this then problems will be very easy for you okay so as we know that we are dealing with the work energy principle it means uh, we have equation initial kinetic energy plus work done on the object from stage 1 to stage 2 because of the forces acting on the object is equal to the final kinetic energy of the object so in this particular equation let us start with the first variable that is kinetic energy so kinetic energy will be equal to zero that is initial kinetic energy why initial kinetic energy is zero because it is mentioned in the question starting from rest initial velocity will be zero it means initial kinetic energy will be zero next uh, uh, variable in the equation is work done on the object from stage 1 to 2 now see this particular block is moving along horizontal direction so in this particular force system only those forces will be responsible for the work done on the object which are acting along horizontal so out of five forces how many are acting along horizontal only this component 800 cos 30 and this particular frictional force fine so 
only these two forces are responsible for the work done on the object and that work done is responsible for this for the motion of this particular block towards right so in order to find this variable work done from stage 1 to stage 2 we need to find work done because of this force so how to find its work done its magnitude multiplied by distance traveled then find the work done of because of this force its magnitude multiplied by the distance traveled this particular force is acting along the direction of motion so work done because of this will be taken as positive this is acting in our direction uh, sorry in opposite direction so work done because of this force will be negative so over here work done is shown so first force is 800 cos 30 multiplied by its distance traveled force magnitude into distance traveled minus force into magnitude uh, for, uh, magnitude of the force into distance traveled that is 20 now what next we can do we can replace friction force by mu n mu is given to us that is 0.2 in the question n is not known with this we have to calculate so from where we have to cal we can calculate this n we can apply another uh, equation of motion on the prob on this particular free body as we know this particular block is not moving along vertical so we can say that summation f y is equal to 0 means all the forces acting on the block which are acting along horizontal their effect on the equilibrium of the object will be 0 so from here from that particular concept we are applying this equation summation f y equal to 0 so this is acting in our direction positive this will be negative this is also positive because it is acting in our direction so equation will be n minus 2000 plus vertical component of the 800 force is equal to 0 so from here we will get the value of n so put this value of n here so we'll get the second variable of the equation that is work done from stage 1 to stage 2 because of the forces acting on the object then the third variable in the equation is final kinetic energy what is the formula for final kinetic energy it is equal to half m v2 square what is m see in this particular question the weight is mentioned it is in newtons so we have to find its mass so we have to divide this by 9.81 so half mass is 2000 divided by 9.81 into v2 square so v2 over here is uh, not known to us which we have to calculate so we will get final kinetic energy as this so when you will put these variables in this particular equation in that equation there will be only one variable that will be v2 and you will be able to solve that equation and you will get your first answer that v2 is equal to 8.55 meter per second I hope uh, the first part of the problem is clear to you. Now let us uh, uh, understand the second part of the problem. What he says, proceed to calculate further distance moved by the body if the pull is removed. Now what is the meaning of this? Meaning is that uh, as this block reaches stage 2, then at stage 2 remove this particular pull 800 acting on the block and then find that how much distance block travels after the removal of that pull. It means at stage 2, very important point to understand that this particular pull is removed then block will purely move under the effect of its inertia. Fine. So when block will move after stage 2 it will be purely because of its inertia. There are no other forces acting on the body which will cause its motion towards right and because of inertia constantly retardation will act on the motion of the object fine and another thing to understand that after stage 2 also the body is moving along a vertical uh, along a uh, horizontal direction means along a line that means that is a rectilinear motion which rectilinear motion it is uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion but that acceleration over here is a retardation fine so this concept we have to keep in our mind what it means in order to solve this particular part of the problem we need to draw its free body again that will be after stage 2 but in that free body what we need to do we need to remove 800 newton pull it means this particular portion of this free body will be removed in the second part of the problem so let us draw its free body for the second part of the problem by removing 800 newton pull now you will get free body 
like this that there will be a block simply resting on the horizontal surface its weight will act in downward direction it will receive normal pressure and of course after stage 2 after stage 2 pull is removed but still it is under the effect of inertia so it is still in motion constant retardation is acting on the object because of friction force and it will stop after covering some distance it means what will be the initial velocity of the object at stage 2 that will be equal to v2 which we have already calculated so the final velocity of the first part of the problem from distance travel between stage 1 to stage 2 the final velocity will be the initial velocity of the next part of the problem that is acting at stage 2 so this particular velocity will be the initial velocity for next part of the problem and final velocity for next part of the problem will be zero because finally this block will come to rest so for the second part of the problem what we have found initial velocity is 8.55 but final velocity will be zero so let us continue with the free body so this these are the system of forces which are acting on the uh, block so this system is equivalent to what ma so a over here is a retardation fine now what next we are asked to find the distance that after the removal of 800 newton pull how much distance it will travel before it comes to rest so we have to find s now this particular motion is uniformly accelerated motion it means three equations are applicable v equal to ut plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square v square is equal to 2 as but you see out of these three equations we are only concerned about those equations in which uh, distance variable is there so it means first equation is not useful even the second is also not useful because over here time is involved and we don't have any time in given in this particular numerical it means we are left with only this option in which distance is there and no time is there so we will use this particular equation so we'll say v square is equal to minus u square is equal to 2as so final velocity as i said will be zero block will come to rest fine but initial velocity is how much that is 8.55 calculating the first part of the problem so we will write final velocity is zero initial velocity is 8.55 is equal to 2 as now still there is there are two variables in this equation so from here we will get uh, equation of s in terms of acceleration but still this is unknown so we have to find a way to find uh, this particular variable so what else we can apply to this free body we can apply newton's second law we can say this set of forces is responsible for this motion so summation f is equal to ma this is acting along x direction so we'll say summation fx is equal to ma so that equation we are using summation fx is equal to ma how many x direction forces only one so that that two is acting in uh, uh, opposite to the direction of motion motion is towards right but it is acting opposite so this will take negative so summation fx is equal to ma that will be minus f only one force equal to ma what is m 2000 weight divided by 9.81 into a so from this particular equation then we will say minus f is equal to mu n mu is already given 0.2 but n is not given so how to find n again apply the second part of the second equation of motion that is the motion of this particular block along y direction is zero so we will say all those forces acting along y direction their sum must be equal to zero so we will say summation fy equal to zero so from summation fy equal to zero we will get value of n n will be equal to 2000 so put that value of n over here then you will be able to cal calculate the retardation so negative sign shows us retardation so put the value of a in the above equation you will get your final answer that is the distance traveled by the block after stage 2 when the pull of 800 newton is removed i hope this particular procedure or this numerical is clear to you thank you very much